Okay, so let's begin with chapter two now. So basically, chapter two will give us an idea of what two-variable regression is. When I talk about two-variable regression, I'm basically talking about a regression in which I have one dependent variable and one independent variable. So, as I've already quoted an example in chapter one explanatory notes that a basic example for this hypothetical thing can be score in maths and income. If I have to find a relationship between them and before finding a relationship, if I assume that there has to be a positive relationship between the score in maths and income, regression will basically help me find that relationship. So what do we do for a given income level? Say income level being 100, I have score of different students. Similarly, for another given income level, say income level being 200, I have score of different students and so on. Now, when I'm talking about this data that I have, it's basically the data of the population. Why population? Because I'm taking the entire data. I'm not finding, I'm not taking few scores. I'm taking score of all the students whose parental income is 100. Similarly, I'm taking the score of all the students whose parental income is 200. So I'm not taking few students. I'm not sampling. I'm taking the entire population. What is important in econometrics is basically to differentiate between what population is and what sample is. Now, for example, just to just to enhance this topic about population and sample, say I want to find out the GDP of an economy and I want to see how well the economy is working but say I do not want to find out I can I cannot go to each and every village and find out what their income level is and I cannot go to each and every city so what do I do is for India as a whole I just go and visit Delhi which is the capital and I take sample of this I take the GDP I take the income level of each and every family of Delhi and based on this I make up some assumptions I make up some conclusions for India as a whole so India as a whole would be counted as a population whereas Delhi would be a sample out of this population similarly as of now what I'm talking about about when I talk about the score in maths and I talk about the income level I'm basically talking about population as a whole in regression as we go ahead we'll see that we do not have population in our hand to, to work with population is really tough so always we would take a sample and work with this sample instead of working with the population so as we saw in the previous video for the population as a whole i can write down my regression equation as y is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 x here x is the independent variable and y is dependent on x beta 1 is also called the intercept term y intercept because when i equate x is equal to 0 i get y is equal to beta 1 so i can say that beta 1 is the intercept term and beta 2 is called the slope term why because if i find out dy by dx it actually comes out to be beta 2 so i know when i differentiate y with respect to x that would give me the slope of the line so in this case in this case it turns out to be beta 2 so if i have to actually plot out my regression line how does it looks like so taking coming back to that example for income level 100 i'll have score of different students for income level 200 i'll have score of different students if i'm taking score here i will find the mean here i'll find mean for this i'll find mean for the next if i join uh, if i find a line through all these mean values this will give me the regression line 